here. Today I'm going to share with you a mini album I had just completed and this mini album is going all the way to the UK to Natalie and her channel is Well That's Nat and we decided to just do a one-on-one -on -one swap and Natalie told me she liked vintage and now that I've looked at the album I think this is more grungy than vintage I'm not sure but I hope she likes it anyway and the papers I used were um, two collections of Tim Holtz and one My Mind's Eye because I just cannot stick with one paper collection for some reason. I have no idea why. So let's see if we can get a little bit more detail. Here is the front of the album, of course. And I used just the papers from the collection and cut them out to make the collage on the front. And this flower I had made a, over a year ago at least over a year ago and um, it finally found a home on Natalie's album and then I put a key and it just dangles it's not attached and it's hanging on this charm that says secrets I'm not sure if you can read that but it says secrets I thought that was fitting because the key to unlock the secrets and this charm here it says dream so I thought those were nice together like that and then I used one of um, Tim Holtz tickets here and it says soar. I thought that was fitting with the butterflies. And then these um, letters here, they were from the collection. I just cut them out, crinkled them up and inked them. And I was planning on binding this with my bind it all. As you can see, I punched the holes for the bind it all. But once I had finished and put the binding on, it was like this. And I don't really like well, no, I like chunky albums. I really do. But I like when they're evenly proportioned to the back to the front. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty close. I don't like when it's what they call that alligator look to it, alligator mouth. So um, I was trying to figure out how to fix this binding, and I was going through everything. I actually took my husband's um, laces that he, he never used them, but I took his leather laces from... Uh, package from his work boots and I tried to do that because I thought that would look good and it looked good but it still wasn't giving me what I wanted and then I came across um, Belinda's tutorial Belinda Acres on binding it with hair elastics and I love this idea because it worked with the amount of holes I put in here and what she did mine's a little bit different but what she did was she attached two hair elastics here ran one through here one through there and then attached them at the back and that worked perfectly as well but my elastics were a little bit too big so that made the inside pages all floppy and I wasn't about to run out that late at night and and look for elastics but what I did find in my stash were these funky paper clips so what I did was I ran the two elastics on this side of the paper clip and then the other two elastics I ran through this side of the paper clip and it worked out really good it has the right give and um, or the right tension I should say and it has enough give that once the pictures and that are put in there it will be fine so this was an awesome uh, idea and I might be using that again I like that and then I used um, the Tim Holtz um, I think they're knobs I'm not even sure I'm really bad with my products and a lot hair elastic and then um, these inside pages here are awesome they are from Michelle at the paper addict and she made these envelopes out of one piece of 12 by 12 and how you fold it and then you do a little cut in the fold it's really awesome so you get two pockets out of one piece and then you also have a pocket at the front at the top here so it's really cool you'll have to check out her channel to to, to learn how to make that because it's really neat so so here is the inside bit. of the cover and I just took some paper from the collection and I stamped on it and adhered it down behind the black cardstock because I really like how the colors pop with the black and all the tags are more or less the same I used some of the paper from the collection on the one side and then the other side I just left blank just black cardstock so Natalie can put a picture on the one side and she can put a journaling spot in there or just leave it if she wants to and then here is the next page and I have a little charm here that says play and I thought that was neat because of the bingo ticket on the other side and I just attach that attach the charm onto one of these key uh, key holders and then attach that with a clip and then on this page 
uh, more from the collection and then like I said they're all blank at the back so I don't have to show you that and then this one here some more paper and then I wanted to add some journaling so of course you know these are my recipe cards or my index cards because I use them for everything and then I just added some spray to them and then this is the other side and again you have a pocket and that's the paper from the collection and I just bought yeah I'm late I'm late to the party again I just bought these empty bottle caps last time we went away on a trip so what I did was I punched a circle of one of the bottle caps in the paper collection adhered it down and then added um, some of the I think it's a diamond glaze I use on there and I really like how that turned out and then this page here I just made a little tiny book and you can get some of those little little tiny pictures and you can fit them in there and then one of my frames I got at the dollar store years ago I punched a little butterfly and I don't know if you can pick that up and I so I cut not punched I cut a little butterfly out of the paper and then I also added the diamond glaze on there so it looks like glass in the frame and then some more paper and these pages are pretty simple even though it did take me like a couple weeks to do it because nothing is fast for me seriously I am like I work so slow and um, but it was a quick one to put together if you're in a rush and again I did some more recipe cards and some more from the paper collection so all the pages more or less are all the same construction they're all the envelopes and then this one here is from the collection and like I said I like to back it up with back black cardstock because it makes it pop and I punch these out and then I pop those up and then here just a pin and the hanger I thought that was fitting for the pattern in this paper and I like how when you flip it this looks so nice and neat the elastics in here with the black contrasting on the brown paper I really like that and then here is another little charm which is this one say explore and then some more of the paper I really like this this the papers in these collections for this one too and then we flip it over like it flips so nice it's really really runs smoothly and then this and if you see if you haven't noticed I've the way I've put the pages in I have the tabs at the front or at the top and then they slowly work down to the bottom and same with the ones at the front here and this one here I used one of those um see don't know what it's called I want to call it a stick pin but it probably isn't called that but <laughs> I put um, just some paper in there those are the colors of the ink and I thought that was fitting because this is a self inking um, embellishment or paper I should say and then we have the story and the reason I put that one is because this reminds me of a nursery rhyme story you'd find in a nursery rhyme book and then I put the clock and there's another one. Oh my goodness my cat never comes in here I shut the door she wants to come in here crazy and some more and then here I used this says notebook so I used one of the pen nibs on there and I do calligraphy so when my when I glued this on my sister-in-law was like why are you putting on one of your pen nibs don't you use those <laughs> I thought it was funny and then this one here oh I used a tag this one isn't from the paper collection that's from someplace else and you know what I forgot to ink that up I cannot believe that tisk tisk and then here I put an N on here of course for Natalie and then this is from the paper and then this is one of the paintbrushes I went searching the house like tearing it apart because I know I had like little kids paintbrushes because I didn't want to use my good ones of course and I just cut the end off with the Tim Holtz scissors and I sanded it up and then um, painted it and then glued it on I like how that turned out and some more of the paper and then of course more of the paper and I just bought these and I thought these were really neat and I did ink with um, uh, the dabber on the edges and of course it's not going to stay on here because it's got a gloss to it but I did that so you wouldn't notice the white at the very tip here some more paper from a collection and then the last one and she can fill that in there if she wants to or she can just journal about the picture on here 
and then some more paper from the collection. And then this is how you attach the elastic. I think I showed this before. And you know, I obviously I didn't come up with this idea. Somebody else did. And you know what? I really can't remember who it was because I did this like a year or two ago as well. So I'm sorry if if you were the one that came up with it, you know, you can you can tell me and I will post the link below. I was looking, I was looking and looking and looking for the tutorial so I can give you credit, but I couldn't find it. So that is my notebook for Natalie. And there's the back. I still have to stamp my little stamp on there. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, it's more, I think, grungy than it is vintage. But I hope you like it, Natalie. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye now. Slow